What's up, everybody? Welcome to week six of the NFL season and the Fando Hurry Up. I am Brandon Gadula. I'm the managing editor at numberfire.com, and I'm going to be breaking down my three favorite stacks for the week six main slate. I don't know how many times I have to go back to this one before it hits, but certainly not divesting from it now uh, with Keenan Allen and Justin Herbert. Allen ranks top five in targets while inside the 10 or in the end zone with 10 among all pass catchers this season. And according to my data, Allen is the biggest underperformer in the touchdown column among all receivers. So something has to give eventually for a pass catcher who has at least eight targets in every game thus far. As for Herbert, he's averaging over 315 yards and two and a half touchdowns per game. The efficiency is off the charts as well, according to number fires metrics. And this Chargers Ravens game makes for one of the best of the week. That's in part because the Ravens rank only 20th against the pass after opponent adjustments. So For one more week, I will be hoping for some Keenan Allen regression. For my second stack, it is a little tweak on the obvious. I know that Patrick Mahomes comes at a high salary, but pairing him with Miko Hardman helps counteract that. And this won't come as a surprise, but I'm cool if we can get to Patrick Mahomes plus Tyree Kill or Travis Kelsey. But Hardman is a low salaried way to get exposure to this offense after generating 12 targets last week, which is good for 24% of the team's looks that included a downfield target, two red zone targets as well, and Hardman is up to a 19% target share over the past two weeks. As for Holmes, it's a pretty easy sell. It's been super efficient, uh, second in adjusted expected points per drop back. Washington struggling defensively, just 24th in adjusted pass defense to start the season. So this is a very viable way to get exposure to the Chiefs offense for week six. I know that this third stack just clicked, and that's usually uh, a sign to stay away, but even with that, my data shows that Lamar Jackson's underperforming a bit overall in the passing touchdown column, so he has room to grow there. Jackson's also averaged 11.2 carries, 68.2 rushing yards per game, with about a 40% red zone rushing share. This is a top five matchup that they'll be facing against the Chargers, but that's not quite outlier territory yet. It's not top two, um, so I'm not that concerned, especially with the rushing being what it is. And as for Mark Andrews, he is up to a 27% target share over the past three games to lead this team. And for the most part, tight end is kind of messy on the week six main slate. Andrews has a combination of affordability with his salary and upside that just kind of makes him stand out as my favorite tight end of the week in general. The Chargers are just 28th in adjusted FanDuel points per target allowed to tight ends as well. So that'll do it for my favorite NFL stacks for week six. Best of luck this week, and let's double dip on those touchdown passes on Sunday. 